Just imagine if we had millions of customers placing tens of millions of orders to fairly large tables. Here's a technique that's going to cut your joins down enormously. We're going to join the order table to the customer table or customer number equals customer number. And we already know that the primary index of the order table is order number. We can cut things down immensely by saying, yes, we're going to join these on customer number equals customer number. And I'm looking for order number equal to 1004. What do you think Teradata is going to do? Are they going to join the millions of rows together first and then just go find where the order number is equal to 1004? No, that would take hours. They're going to use the additional and or where clause and they go, go find the row 1004. It's the primary index of its table. Boom, boom, boom. They find it in under one second and then they only have to find one matching row in the customer table. This is going to save hours on your query. Now let's take a little closer look at this. In some cases, you're going to say, I'm going to join using the ANSI syntax and I'm going to use the word enter join on customer number equals customer number. You'll have an additional where order number equals 1004. Some of you like the traditional syntax where you separate the two tables with the comma and then you say where customer number equals customer number and order number equals 1004. Makes no difference on an inner join which syntax you use and it makes no difference on this join if it's an additional WHERE clause or it's an additional AND clause. The parsing engine will take the least expensive path and it's going to go get the row first and then it's going to match it with its counterpart. What a great technique to have in your mind. Here's an excellent example of what I'm talking about. Here we're going to join customer table to the order table on customer number equals customer number. And we're also looking for where the order number equals 1004. I've got it in yellow. We find that in one second and now we can just match it up with its matching row. That's going to save enormous amount of time. I want you to see this in slow motion so it really hits home. We said we want to join these two tables where customer number equals customer number and we want where the order number is equal to 1004. So the parsing engine says order number is the primary index of the order table. Find that with a single AMP retrieve in one second and that row is delivered perfectly up into the memory. At that point in time, they go, you know 1004? What's your customer number? Oh, customer number two? Redistribute that row, hashing customer number two, and bring it over to the proper AMP. And now, as you can see, the matching rows are joined together on AMP 1, which brings me to a very important point. In the actual query, we said we would like to know the customer number, the customer name, and just the order total. When Teradata redistributes things in memory across the binet, it doesn't bring the whole row if you didn't ask for all the information. The parsing engine will only bring and redistribute the information it needs to satisfy the query cutting down on as much space as possible. Why drive a truck when you can drive a motorcycle?